Hi, welcome back for part two of my incoming birthday happy mail unboxing. Um, I was so excited in part one to receive this beautiful uh, embellishment book from my sister Annette over at Nettie H Creates. And when I wrapped up, you know, I showed everything that was inside. And when I wrapped up the video, I, you know, turned off my camera and then I realized I'm not done. There's more goodies inside the box, which I, I didn't realize when I pulled out, you know, the, the things that were in there. Um, and I also wanted to share, I didn't even see that there was something on the back side of this beautiful embellishment book that Nettie had um, included with with it. So I just want to, I'm going to pick up right, right where I left off from the previous video. Um, we looked at everything inside. We looked at the front. We looked at the card that she sent here. Beautiful card. Um, and there's a gift card to Dollar Tree in this package. And this is the little birthday card that she sent. And now I'm going to share with you what is on the back side of this beautiful embellishment book. And she's done a strawberry theme using, um, mostly it looks like the papers from uh, a Park Lane collection that was out last year. And um, she and I both have um, the paper pads for this and the ephemeras and different things that were available at the time. So anyway, in, in the back here, look at this. She has this tiny little velvet stuffed strawberry uh, glued down at the bottom on this pocket and this beautiful gold trim here okay and then inside the pocket oh look oh this is adorable it's a little uh, looks like a daisy flower die cut set and she's got it packaged up so pretty with the tiny little bag topper here on the top and a bow, and it says XOXO. I don't know if that's washi tape or just a little sentiment. That is just so charming, look at that. And then she's got these pretty little hearts. I think they're glued on top of, oh, I bet the little hearts that she has glued on the package here come from here, is that right? The punch outs from this part of the bag topper. Isn't that adorable? Thank you for this. I can always use more dyes. And in fact, I do need to kind of build my stash of flowers. There's a, a few more daisies were one of the ones on my list that I've been kind of wanting to, to find. So thank you for that. And then up here, she's got this little, this is like a little gift bag. Can you see? Like she's got that attached to the back side of the uh, embellishment book. But like a little mini lunch bag almost. So there's a tuck pocket here and then inside the bag itself, there's more goodies. So let's pull these out. Here's the first thing. She's got some pom-pom trim here. Oh, this is just so cute. Oh, oh, a strawberry wax seal head. Gee, this was on my list. This was on my list of things to get. And here it is, she sent one to me. Thank you, Nettie. Well, I can cross this one off my list now. <laughs> this is definitely one I've been wanting to get with the strawberry. Thank you so much. Yeah, that is just charming. Okay, let's see what else she's put in here. Oh, a little glassine bag. Hooray, it's today. And then she's got it tied with this pretty twine, like a craft colored twine. And a little die, die cut sticker on the front. And let's open this up here. All right, I'm just gonna go off camera for a second to get the um, the top opened. I don't want to, you know, rip it. So I'm just gonna clip across just this one little part on the top here. Okay. Okay, and then inside. Oh, it looks like she said. Oh, look, die cuts. Oh, look, the fence, the little fences. She has those out of like a wood grain paper right here. Thank you, Nettie. And this is similar to what she has going on here inside her uh, embellishment book that she sent me. So a similar, yeah, fencing die cuts. And of course, the beautiful little flowers die cut out that she used here. 
in the um, embellishment book itself. So she's got them in a yellow ochre, pale pink, and this pretty blue. Okay, and then this is strawberry. I think this is the uh, Scrap Diva Designs die set that's been on my list as well. Those are really pretty in person. I love that script. Very, very nice. And here's another one. It says, so very sweet. Oh, I have to get this die set now, of course, right? I like you very much. Oh, I love it. Fresh picked. And some more flowers. And this one says, life is sweet. I'd have never thought to use the wood grain background for the shadow and then the yellow um, words. I love that combination. And this one is, you are very cute. That is a really nice die set. I love that. Thanks, Nettie. Definitely going to get to work with these. Okay. And then, make sure I haven't missed anything else. There's Another little package here. Isn't that pretty? Again, this is from that Joann's paper pad set. Isn't this beautiful? It has mice and strawberries and pretty flowers. And of course, these are the colorways of the papers that were, were in that set. Just It's a, just a beautiful um, paper, paper collection. So she's got this tied with twine, a perfect combination. And then she's got the craft colored little envelope which it matches really nicely. So let's see what's in here. Oh, thank you. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. These greens are just adorable. Just adorable. The different sizes of berries that she's cut out in her color theme for this uh, Happy Mail. Oh, I like this with the pearlized yellow paper and the darker yellow behind it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, these are lovely. And I would never have thought of that either, having the check pattern paper. That's very effective. Light blue, yellow, powder blue, navy blue. Well, actually that's not so much a navy. Maybe it's more like a denim blue, wouldn't you say? These are just beautiful. Oh, there's just, maybe you could be a spokesperson for any dye company. Oh, that is beautiful. Really, really pretty. Oh, I can't, I can't wait to get, get crafting with these. Too bad I have to go to work all week. I know. But that does provide us with our little bit of extra spending money for our passions, right? For our hobbies. <laughs> okay. So that is that, and I don't think I've missed anything else on the journal. Let me just double check the box. There are a couple more things in here I totally missed, so I'm gonna pull those out and show them. This little package was also inside the box. Just notice that. Let's open it up. Unwrap it. Tissue. Of course, her choice of tissue is just perfect. The yellow goes so nicely with everything else that she made. I'm just going to unwrap this off camera so I can get the paper off. Oh, look. You got me on pins and needles. It's a little ceramic dish. This is going right next to my beautiful sewing machine. Yeah, I purchased a brand new um, high-end sewing machine. Oh, I don't know, was it last year? I, it was fairly in the last year or so. And, you know, my goal is I wanted to get all of my equipment and, um, you know, supplies and things that I knew I would need during retirement. So for the past 10 years, every so often I would, you know, check one more, you know, loom or piece of equipment or, you know, whatever I needed to get that was a little bit more of a big ticket item. So I did get the sewing machine last summer, and then about four years ago, I purchased a brand new um, top-of-the-line serger as well. So I am all set. And when I retire at the end of next school year, um, so that'll be uh, uh, as of July 2024, yeah, I will be all set up. 
to get to work in this studio every single day. I am so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Of course, I will miss my little children in my classroom, but there will be lots of other fun things to keep me busy. Okay, so here's the last package in the birthday swap. And let me just unwrap this. Let me do this off camera for a second, get the paper off. Oh, look what you found. Oh, perfect. A cold drink cooler. It's like a little sleeve, a little foam sleeve. That is perfect. Yeah, I can envision it now. Sitting behind my sewing machine, I'll have my cold drink. I'll have my little pin dish and I'll be busy sewing away to my heart's content for the rest of my natural life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. You know exactly what I love, Nanny. Thank you so much for thinking of me and making this beautiful, beautiful birthday happy mail and making my whole day. I have to tell you, this has made my day. I mean, make sure I didn't miss anything else in the box. I don't see anything else. So I think we are officially done with that unboxing right okay all right oh so excited I'm so inspired and I hope I can spend a little time tomorrow on Sunday we have um a birthday party to go to for my daughter's best friend um later this afternoon so we'll be busy with that and I have some cooking I need to do for that this afternoon but hopefully tomorrow it's supposed to be another beautiful day I'm going to spend some time in my studio in the morning and then the rest of the day outside in my gardens hopefully and get something done outdoors as well. All right, take care. Thank you for joining me and sticking around to watch the rest of, of this unboxing. And I'll be back very soon with another project share and probably some more hauls coming up in the, in the near future. Take care, bye for now.